what is up guys and welcome back to my channel i'm truly grateful so today as usual i'm here again to bring you another interesting walk around video of one of the famous chinese local brands the chinese ev market is really hot now so i'm just going to walk around and show you a uh, close-up uh, footage of the zika 001 so i'm going to start here in the front this is the zika 001 the all new model for 2024 and this brand has been running in the chinese market for about three and a half years now it seems to be one of the solid ones so so it's a complete ev and let's start from the front here so as you can see you have um your headlamp right here and you've got some daytime running lights up there and this is the symbol for zika right here and i see it a lot on the on the roads it seems like a very nice reliable car so if you look at some details here if you look up down here it looks like it has some sort of radar uh, reading sensor and going on to the if you look at the head the daytime running lights i don't know if it shows on the camera you can see some kind of crystal crystallized effect in there really really nice and you have your windscreen your wipers and you have a radar there as well so um, it reads the road and a bunch of cameras in there you have a radar sensor up there this is a black and white version really really nice and it's this one spots to room 22 tires there's a 21 version as well some orange painted calipers which look really really cool I like the build of the, the rims. It looks really, really nice and solid. And you come here and you have a camera uh, to help with a 360 view. And you have a camera right here and another one here. You have your turn signal indicator on the mirror. And let me just step up, step back a little bit so you can see the overall design. It's a really sleek car. I've been digging this car on the road. And uh, this car comes with so many sensors. Let me reduce the music. So this car comes with many sensors. To open it up, all you do is press here. And you can see it stopped right where I was standing. And if I move away, then it opens further. Because it's got sensors to detect uh, if someone is standing in the way of the door. So it only opens up to a certain point. And it has soft closing doors as well. So if I just shut it it will close by itself you open again and soft close doors on so it opens up up to where you are and when i shut it soft close in the back as well that's really really cool so let's move around the vehicle before we go into the front on the rear another 20 inch wheels and you have your charge in here you press to open it took a second there to open. You have your slow charge and your fast charge. And you press that to close it. And you have some really beautiful uh, daytime running lights and the rear lights. Kind of like a light bar stretching from left to right. And it looks really, really cool overall. Um, you got a camera here. You got a camera up there and you got your brake lights up there and a the rear spoiler the brake lights are kind of integrated into the rear spoiler and to open it up press that and it opens to a very wide boot i don't have the figures but it looks like uh, it's wide enough to carry uh, the load that you want to carry on your way and it's a bit raised if you can look here it's a bit raised so you can actually put items down there if they are flatter and more up here on top and you can see it's got some nice runners made of high quality aluminum and door seals all looking really really nice and to shut it you just press that and it shuts automatically nothing new there and i like the design of these so there's kind of like a, a glass covering the top but inside you have 
all the lighting so that's really really cool and as you can see the Zika branding right here and looking at the rear view it looks really really nice the light stretches all the way from here to the side of the car and um, this is the right side of the car just move on real quick and uh, let's get inside the car and show you so I'm gonna start here from the passenger seat so when I open the door this is what you see so this is the button for operating your window and when I push it it goes down so it goes back and forth really really smooth operation and this is the button for opening the door when you press it the door closes as well and that's really really cool you don't really have to use your hands to pull the door and once you get in you have the passenger seat with lots of adjustments as well and some sort of rotor here for all sorts of adjustments and massage and it comes with Yamaha speakers as you can see and these speakers are really really good they sound really really good I have a lot of space uh, for my feet right here and you have this beautiful dash design Alcantara all around the car but let's stick to this for a while and you have a speaker grill up there you have your interior lighting of touch to operate of course you have your SOS button and you have a big mirror a vanity mirror right here very very solid feeling so from the passenger side this is what you see I'm just gonna go on to the driver's side and show you what I see so getting in the driver's seat again you have your seat control buttons here you have a runners there and this car is kind of like a crossover it sits between an SUV and a salon car and to shut the door as a driver you just press on the brake paddle and the door shuts and it moves your seat forward and adjusts all the uh, other functions to your settings moves you back and forward and then again here you have your buttons for controlling the windows both front and back lock and lock door very very sensitive once I pressed it and this is the steering wheel that that comes with the Zika 001 or 001 you got your horn you got your steering controls right here and overall a very sharp looking steering design and you have your a screen here that brings you if you can I'm sure you can see some sensors blinking in there um, and you have this screen for your driving info which is bigger than what you get on the VWs it's almost like a standard screen but it has your drive um, selector indicator here the car information about the car your music over there and you have this OLED super crisp uh, screen for all your controls uh, let's whilst we're here let's just listen to some music and hear the quality of the sound and it's funny because i can actually feel the seat vibrating it seems there's a speaker in the seats as well and it sounds really really good got some really nice bass to it and here on the center console you have your cup holders you have your um, a button here for controlling music so the passenger can also control us for here as well you have a very really nice gear lever your park button you have your quick controls hazard lights heat, window heating mirror heatings and all that and overall you have the a really nice um, a really really nice design right here so if we take a look at what a center console looks like in full view press here to open and you have two usbs here the one on the left is 60 watt charging the one on the right is 27 watt and you have a 12 volt socket there it might be dark in here but it's also a very deep deep um and you also have this panoramic roof that stretches from the front to the right 
kind of like what is happening even with cars with like the id7 you can you press a button to dim it or to make it transparent so that is the front view of the car that is from the driver's view i'm just going to step in the back and show you what the back looks like let's close this up and open the back again so yes automatic opening doors it doesn't go all the way you have to help it to so you have a wide opening into the back and we got air vents here which is really nice uh, the only problem i'm seeing here is maybe this seat is too is is, is being adjusted too low but my, there's no space for my feet to go in but i'm sure once you raise it there will be space in that but it's not really that much of a big deal because i moved the seat really far back so in the front so i could um sh give you a better camera view but if as a 183 centimeter tall person driving if i adjust it to my most comfortable driving position there will still be enough space for a taller rear passenger so this is the view from the rear of the car and uh, this is what the seats in the rear look like. They're kind of nicely reclined. And what's interesting is you get a door opening button, your window up and down, and you got this button to adjust the seats forward and back. So if I, if you can feel it, you can hear that the camera is picking up the sound. My back has been adjusted forward and I'm adjusting back also it's electronic the rear seats are electronically adjustable forward and back and you have isofix points right here and it's a, actually a very wide seat so all passengers are going to feel comfortable and there's a screen down here where rear passengers can also control music and some other functions and you have your rear vents here so it's a really really nice touch i'm not sure if this screen can double as a uh, an entertainment screen but yeah you can control a few things from the back even as a passenger and the top here is nicely recessed so there's enough headroom for even the rear passengers and there's alcantara all around the interior that is amazing so where you don't have alcantara you have leather I don't, maybe napa leather some nice fabric material here and in hiding there somewhere are the uh, ambient lights really really nice overall so let's get out there and get some nice shots of the interior so yeah this is what it looks overall really really spacious and really really nice interior So Chinese cars have come of age, really, really nice looking car. This was their first brand, I think, for Zika. They have other nice ones that are available. So, yeah, you might want to take a look at it. Don't just write Chinese cars off. They're giving you a lot for your money. So, yeah, viewers, that was the uh, 001 set of James Bond coded car from Zika. Maybe a lot of people have not heard of this company, but... They are making amazing cars here in China. All right, guys, so that was the Zika 001 or 001. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel together. If you have a chance to see the Zika close to you anywhere, take a look at it, or you can review it online and see what others are saying about it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Right, legal, right, safe. Peace.